Hey, Daily Dosers, thanks for joining us today. My name is Tracy. I'm the campus pastor of the San Marcos Escondido campus. And this week we are talking about the heart of the father. And you know, as a little girl, I was thinking back on what did I need from my father, my earthly father. And there were a few things that I thought about as I wanted to know that I was loved unconditionally from my dad. And I also needed instruction on how to do things. And um, not as a teenager, that was a whole different story, but I look back now as a young woman and an older woman now, and I still call my dad sometimes for like, what, it, what should I do here, dad? And I get instruction from him. And then I really wanted to always know, and I still want to know today, that it's all going to be okay. So we lived in a place where we had tornadoes that would just like roll through the plains. And I would look to my dad for assurance that it was going to all be okay and that we were going to be all right in the end. And um, what I love so much about the Word of God and how trusted it can be as a word from our Father is that He tells us those things. And I think personally, um, I was blessed to have a dad that I got those things. And I know for some who are watching today, your earthly father was not those things, did not give you those things. But I want you to know that this word can be trusted and that the heart of the father wants to give you those pieces. He wants to give us that we are loved unconditionally. It tells us here in his word in 1 John 3, it says, Behold the manner, the depth of God's love the father has bestowed on us that we should be called children of God. And it goes on in the word to tell us that his love is vast, it's compassionate, it's everlasting. We can't measure the depths of it for God so loved us that he sent his own son, Jesus. So we see that our love is unconditional from our heavenly father. We also get instruction from it. It tells us from Psalms, um, and, and all from beginning to end, the instruction of how do we live this life, the Proverbs. We're encouraged right now in our sermon series, if you're watching along with us, to be in the Word this summer to read it, to meditate on it. And, and you could read the Proverbs one a day, and that gives us great wisdom on how to live this life out. He gives us instruction, and it is trustworthy. If we follow it, we will have good life, long life, and a life that points other people to Him. And then I love so much that this whole book tells us that it's going to be okay in the end. It doesn't matter what our lives look like right now, what our heaven, our earthly father relationship looked like, or any other relationship. From beginning to end, it says, take heart. I have overcome and we win in the end. The enemy is defeated. We will have life with him in eternity and a new heaven and a new earth. It's a beautiful story. It's a love story. And I want to encourage us today to get in it, meditate on it because it is trustworthy. So we could go to the theology side of the inerrancy of it, the infallibility, just meaning it is not, there's no way for it to be wrong. There aren't errors in it. It is, there's sufficiency in the word. It is all we need for this life. But I think in all of that, in the theology and the prophecies that have been proven to be true for 2,000 years, I want you to hear that the heart of the Father is right in this book, and you can trust it. So I'd love for you to come to the lens, do what we've been asking you to do is to get in it and read it and meditate on it and think on it and look at it with the lens of the heart of the Father for you personally. It is your love letter, and it can be trusted every time, every word. We'll see you next time.